My name is Dr. Hannah Son. I'm a dual qualified radiologist and nuclear medicine specialist. Um, radiologists are medical doctors who have undergone a further five years of study and rigorous training to specialise in our field. Radiologists are trained to use innovative uh, technology and equipment such as CT, MRIs, ultrasounds, X-rays and nuclear scans to capture and interpret medical images uh, used for diagnosis and treating injuries and disease conditions throughout the body. I chose radiology and nuclear medicine as it is a unique blend of cutting-edge technology and patient-centred care. As radiologists, we have a key role in patient care and we are an integral part of the healthcare system, providing critical insights that guide diagnosis and treatment for patients. Sometimes we are referred to as behind the scenes heroes in early detection, helping save people's lives by identifying diseases early and at the most treatable stage. My name is Dr. Michael Chan and I'm a radiologist here at um, Sand Radiology and Nuclear Medicine, as well as the Director of Training um, at this linked site. My specialty is in cardiothoracic imaging and body imaging and uh, I do a lot of different activities with um, diagnostic radiology as well as some minor procedures and minor interventions. My day begins with multidisciplinary team meetings where I engage with a number of different subspecialties um, including oncologists, uh, respiratory physicians and cardiologists. So for example, I had the interstitial lung disease meeting this morning uh, where I engaged with pathologists, uh, rheumatologists, uh, respiratory physicians to discuss a number of different um, CT scans of the chest and this is important to ensure that patients um, get the treatment that they need um, for their lung conditions. Following the MDT, my day commences by looking through a number of different X-rays, ultrasounds, CTs and MRIs and reporting these. I often also engage with radiographers to ensure that the scans that are performed are of adequate quality and often um, trying to problem solve with um, the radiographers to ensure that the right study and the right test is done for the patient. My name is Dr. Neda Varzeshi. I'm a general radiologist with subspecialty interest in breast imaging. What I love about radiology is its collaborative approach to patient care, which um, includes close interaction with surgeons, oncologists, and other specialties. Behind every scan is a patient whose care depends on precision, where we play a key active role in treatment planning and monitoring, especially in oncology. Typical working day for me as a breast radiology usually starts with an MDT. After that, I usually do have a couple of procedures, including localization of breast lesions for surgical excisions to aid the surgeons with precise excision of the lesion. I usually do have a couple of biopsies in the morning and follows by review of the old breast related modalities, including mammogram, ultrasound and MRIs which will continue throughout to the afternoon. In the afternoon, I'm usually involved in more general radiology work, including reviewing the, the scans, different modalities, CT, MRI, ultrasound, x-rays, and also performing some minor procedures, image guided procedures, which is done either under CT or under ultrasound. Working as a breast radiologist is extremely rewarding. By early detection of a non-clinical cancer, you can completely change a family life. It's not just one person. With breast, it's usually a family because sometimes a young mother is involved and that would completely change the scenario for the family from uh, going towards the minor you know, procedure, less invasive treatment and better outcome. So as an interventional radiologist, the day is uh, different compared to a diagnostic radiologist. Procedures usually involve injections, drainage procedures or vascular procedures and they're performed with ultrasound, x-ray guidance or angiographic guidance or in the CT room. You can perform the most basic of interventions such as a uh, steroid injection, a, a small pain treatment procedure, uh, all the way up to life-saving 
procedures such as an emergency thrombectomy to save somebody. The future in interventional radiology is transforming the way that we think about treating conditions. Whereas you might have needed to have previous surgery for your prostate, for your obstructive bladder symptoms, you can now have a minimally invasive pinhole procedure that takes two hours with no anaesthetic and go home on the same day. I had one case of a young girl who was a chronic heart failure patient. This girl was left-handed and she was a piano player. She ended up having a large vascular malformation in her left elbow. We were able to successfully block off that malformation and stop the heart failure from occurring and preserve her ability to play piano. She was very grateful. It is these positive validations that we are improving patient outcomes, making difference in people's lives is what makes this profession so rewarding. To learn more about radiology, please head to our website and social media.